everybody. Here is my finished teleprompter. This is, uh, I just barely got this done today. And uh, as you can see, it's basically the same thing it was before, except for instead of sitting on a large LCD screen to, to use as, as the, the text, I now have added an eight inch tablet. Uh, this is an Android 4 tablet that I got on eBay for $100. It has the capacitive screen, so you can do gesturing and that kind of thing. Um, they do have one for fifty dollars that is a, it's called a resistive screen. That's where you actually have to push on the screen. It doesn't do any kind of swiping or anything like that. But this this is pretty nice. Uh, it works really well for doing this and also a whole bunch of other things. I, I'm really actually pretty happy with it. I'm happier with it, with it than I thought I would because I've really been wanting to get an iPad, but um, those cost a lot of money. Plus, I wanted it to have it small enough to fit into my little storage unit that I'm using for a, a shade. Um, the whole thing is mounted to a piece of wood here that I actually, is this is recycled because I am, um, this originally was on my first version of my jib crane that I mounted the, the, the two pieces of the Lazy Susan to that it, it uh, rotated back and forth. So I was able to use something I already had from an older project. Um, I, the reason why the, the, my camera is not mounted on here because I'm using it to film but uh, this is kind of cool. I was able to use one of my old uh, uh, roller skate wheels that I've used from other projects. And um, it happens to be just the right height. Um, I put this bolt through the center, put that through there, and I mount the camera on top of it, and it works really well. The, um, I have the addition of this, this sleeve, which my wife made for me out of an old black t-shirt, and it works really well keeps the keeps the light out and uh, everything is kind of mounted by these these brackets well by these little bolts that go through the brackets here um, this goes through the bracket through the bottom of the, the shield here um, and into the wood at an angle I don't have it actually tightened down but it keeps things from moving around the other thing that helps keep moving these things around is these um, these are called plastic nails and what they are is you you drill a quarter inch hole in, in, a, in, in drywall, put this in there, and then you can hammer things in there uh, and keep things up without having to worry about using a stud. So, but for me, they work perfectly for, for keeping my tablet from moving around too much going, going out. So if by some weird, co well, weird happenstance I, I would actually want to use any kind of fancy camera work while I'm doing teleprompting, um, I can keep everything from moving around. Um, that's kind of a nice, nice thing. So I can I can do it at different angles without having to worry about my tablet falling down or, or whatever. So um, I'm pretty happy with this. This actually will work pretty well. In fact, um, <laughs> I was in the middle of making my my jib crane video of my my most recent one, and I had to stop because I just kept on blabbering and blabbering about things and not really getting you know not getting to the point that I wanted to. It took me. A whole long time just to get halfway through it and so I thought you know I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop working on this video and I'm gonna finish this teleprompter so that I can I can actually get finished with everything I'm hoping this will, will help my videos be much less verbose and more um, br brief so. well now I'm going to talk a little bit about how I built this platform for the the teleprompter and it was actually one of the easiest simple designs that I've, I've done. I think it all took, took me all about 20 minutes to do this once I figured out where I needed to put things. So um, I originally started off with this this platform that I got from my original version of my jib crane and I added a piece of wood here and it was only that big. Um, I didn't have it going back it was just, just that, that deep because originally I mounted the camera right here but the problem with that is it didn't give me enough depth for the lens to move as it as it focused or as it zoomed, kept on hitting and bumping into the glass. So I took it off and I cut a new piece that was twice as long and I still attached it to the same holes that were there before and I moved the mounting point back. So now the camera mounts back here, plenty of room, my, my shade, uh, the, the sleeve that I have is, is, is pretty deep so it can it, I could even go back even farther and still have enough material there to block out the, the light if I had a longer lens so there's there's how that worked um, there are four holes 
that are here. Um, and corresponding holes are found inside the bottom of the, the shade. And these are for, these two outer holes are for the brackets to be secured. And I just basically have the bracket in there. I put the bolt through. And it's at an angle. I'm not sure if you can see that very well, but it's at an angle. And I do the same thing with the other side. And it stays in there really good. But the other thing that helps keep the, the, the brackets in place are the tablets uh, with itself keeps it from, from moving any farther in, as well as the glass. Now, as you can see right here, there's a really nice groove here. So I used to have just the glass resting on this outer outer edge of the, the bracket, but now I slide the glass inside that those grooves, and so now it, not only is it resting you know, at the right angle, but it's um, it's also more secure in there, and it, it's so it, and it also its width keeps the brackets in place. So that, that's what those two outer outer holes are for. Then I drilled two more holes um, to accommodate the plastic nails. And that keeps the, the the tablet from moving any 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 way this way. So, all right. Now here's how I secure this to my tripod head. This is a, a piece of aluminum uh, bar that I had from a previous project that I had scrapped, and I just used some drywall screws to mount it. I actually have a third one here, but this one here kind of got, got stripped. But then I drilled and I tapped a quarter inch hole here. And I added a smaller hole that helps keep the security pin, which is right here, in place. This this allows this this makes it so that the the platform can't shift back and forth as long as that's tightened down. And so this just goes in here and that keeps it um, very secure on there and as you notice right now it's kind of loose but it won't move any farther than this because of the security pin so that's how I built this uh, it's pretty easy pretty simple design and it works well there it is this is how I made it if you have any questions about any more details as far as what I used um, um, feel free to ask and let me know what you think about this now, this obviously it doesn't look very professional. I mean, <laughs> but I'm not. I, it wasn't meant to. If I wanted to make it look better, I probably would make everything black and and paint the wood. But this is really just for videos I'm doing at home. I don't plan on, on really using this out in the field very much. Um, but it's nice to know that I can, if I needed to, and it you know I, I might get some laughs. But uh, it's still the the whole idea here is that it functions the way it's supposed to and it's, it's, it will get the job done. And that's, that's the whole purpose of doing this, this uh, for myself, so that I don't have to pay someone else to do something that I can do for myself. Uh, more videos are on the way. I am gonna have that jib crane done, the video done this next week, and I'll, I'll hope be posting that soon. Uh, let me know what you think. Thanks for watching. Please comment, and have a great day.